To write the name for Cu2O, that's copper one oxide, we use these rules here and a periodic table. So Cu on the periodic table is copper and O is oxygen. We have a metal and a non-metal, so we'll have an ionic compound. So we'll get rid of the YGEN on oxygen and write IDE. That gives us copper oxide. Copper is in the middle of the periodic table. It's called a transition metal. And because of that, we need to be specific about the charge when we write its name. That's because copper can have different charges. To find the charge, we do know the charge on oxygen. That's always minus two. The question then is, what is the charge on each one of these coppers here that'll give us a positive two to balance this out? If each copper has a plus one charge, two times plus one, That'll give us a plus two, and that'll cancel it out. So copper only has a charge of plus one. And when we write the name, we put parentheses and a Roman numeral one to show that. That makes the name for Cu2O copper one oxide. Understand that this one, all it tells us is that the copper, each one of them, we have two copper atoms. Each one of those has a plus one charge. This is Dr. B with the name for Cu2O copper 1 oxide, and thanks for watching.